The last thing that we're going to do in our circle unit is write equations of circles. And there's going to be three videos. One that's just pretty straightforward, uh, fairly simple equations. Then one that's harder equations. And then one that has to do with completing the square. This one is the straightforward, fairly easy ones. Okay, what we're going to do is think of a circle on a coordinate plane. And if the, if the let's let x and y represent any point on the circle with a center of the circle at the origin. And let's let r represent the radius of the circle. Looking at our diagram there, if we uh, look at this, we can see our right triangle. We could draw a right triangle, and we could use the Pythagorean theorem, where our radius would be our hypotenuse, and our um, x and y values would represent the lengths of our legs. Okay, so if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if I take our x length and square it, that would be our a squared. And if I take our y length and square it, that would be our, y, or our b squared. And then if I take our radius, the length of our radius and square it, that would be our c squared. And this is actually the equation of a circle with a center at the origin. It's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Make sure you write that down in your notes. All right, but normally circles don't aren't always right at the center of the origin. So what if we move the center of the circle off the origin? Well, let's do that, and let's represent <clears throat> the new center of our circle with an ordered pair, and we're just going to call it h and k. That's the x and y values of the center, h and k. So, again, let's use the Pythagorean theorem. And let's kind of draw a right triangle there. And let's think about this. This whole length there that I've highlighted in yellow is our x value. Or our x, yeah. And, but this orange part is the value of h. So the side length here that we have in purple is really, if you think about it, the length of x minus the length of h. So instead of x squared in our equation for a circle, we're going to put x minus h in the, that quantity squared where h represents the x value of the center point. So think that through. Re Look at that if you need to. Now let's look at the y value. If you look at this yellow line, that represents the length of y. But if you look at the orange line, that represents the length of k, because remember, we're not on the origin anymore. So our length of this leg, that purple length there, could be represented by y minus k. And so when we put that in our equation for our circle, we're going to say y minus k squared, where k represents the y value of the center point. And then remember, it was equals our radius squared, which we're going to keep. This is the standard equation for any circle. x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals the radius squared. Let's use this. Now, in a standard equation of a circle, remember that you are only going to replace the h, the k, and the r with numbers. You are going to leave the x and y variables. Also, remember that you need to simplify the radius squared. You're not going to say 7 squared. You're going to say 49. All right? Um, what if we had this? It says write the equation of a circle with a center at 1, 9, and a radius of 3. Well, remember h, k, and r in our equation. And our center point, the h is 1, and the k is 9, and our radius is 3. So we're just going to put these values, h of 1, k is 9, r is 3, in our circle equation. And then we're going to simplify x minus 1 squared plus y minus 9 quantity squared equals 9 because 
3 squared is 9. And that's the standard equation for that circle. I would like you to write the standard equation of the circle on the graph. While I'm looking at this graph, the first thing I'm going to do is identify my h and k, which is the center of my circle. And in this case, it is my origin, 0, 0. And I need to know my radius, so I just count over to um, a horizontal or vertical distance, and I find that my radius is 3. So I'm going to plug those into the equation, uh, my standard equation of a circle. Now, you should have remembered, I'm hoping from our, our first slide, that I didn't really need to do this, but it, if you did, it's no big deal. Now I'm going to simplify. H minus 0, or, or excuse me, x minus 0 is just x, and y minus 0 is just y. So I've got x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. So that is the equation of that circle that is centered at the origin. I would like to, to write the equation of this circle. Again, we're going to look at the h and k, which is negative 1 and 3, and then we're going to figure out what our radius is, so I'm just going to count over, and that is 5 units, and I'm going to place these numbers in my equation. And I'm going to say x minus negative 1 plus y uh, minus 3, that's my h and my k, and my radius is 5, so equals 5 squared. Now, I need to simplify this. So look at this, x minus negative 1, that actually simplifies to x plus 1. So I'm going to have x plus 1 squared. So if I ever see x plus 1, that means the x value of my center is negative, a negative number. Okay, then I've got y minus 3 squared, and 5 squared is 25, equals 25. So that is the standard form or the standard equation for the circle that is shown. All right, let's write the equation of a circle with a center at 3, negative 5, and a radius of 7. Well, remember 3 and negative 5 represent my h and my k, and my radius is 7, so I'm going to put my 3 where my h would go, my negative 5 where my k would go, and my 7 where my radius would go. And again, I'm going to simplify x minus 3 squared plus, but again, I've got y minus a negative 5. And when I simplify that, that's going to give me y plus 5. So when I have y plus 5 squared, that means that the y value of my center point is negative. And then 7 squared is 49. So that is the standard equation of that circle. Now, the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is work backwards. And this is a little bit harder, but not totally. You just have to remember this, that this number represents your h, this number represents your k, which are your x and y values of your center, and this number represents your radius squared. So if it's a number, it's already been squared. All right, so to get my x value, remember it's x minus some number. So if it says x plus, it really means x minus 5. So the x value of my center, or my h, is negative 5. And this says y minus some number, which is, that number is 3. And then 9 is my radius squared, so I have to take the square root of that to get my radius, and that would be 3. So the center of this circle is negative 5, 3, and the radius is 3. And the last thing that we're going to do here, I think, uh, I might have, yeah, this is the last one, is find the center of the circle and the radius given the equation of us, that the, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared equals 49 squared. Well, hopefully you remember that if it's just x squared plus y squared, that's at the origin. So my center is 0, 0. But if you don't, you can always write down the equation and then say, well, there's a 0 there and a 0 there. So my center is 0, 0. And I have to take square root of 49. So my center, 0, 0. My radius is 7. 
All right, I think you have enough information to do the first set of the homework. So that's what I would do right now. Um, yeah.